Hello, my name is Maria Victoria Mateos. I work as hematologist at the University Hospital of Salamanca in Spain. I am the director of the myeloma unit and I will discuss today about how to select CAR T cells or T cell engager by specific monoclonal antibodies for the treatment of patients with multiple myeloma. Starting by the concept of multiple myeloma as an incurable disease. Is to that significant improvements have occurred over the last century, but most patients with multiple myeloma finally relapse and they usually become what we call the triple drug class refractory. This means that these patients have been exposed to proteasome inhibitors in monomodulatory drugs anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies, and basically they are refractory. In this situation is the place in which cell therapies had been tried in myeloma. CAR T cells, as well as T cell engager or by specific monoclonal antibodies. Most of them are targeting BCMA, and after the most relevant presentations done in both ASCO and EHA meetings, we had the opportunity to see how both strategies are really effective in this triple drug class refractory multiple myeloma. And definitely both strategies cover the unmet medical need because a significant proportion of patients achieved at least a partial response. And with car -Ts, over 80% of the patients responded with bispecific monoclonal antibodies, around 70-80% of the patients also responded, and a substantial proportion of patients achieved complete response and even minimal residual disease negative. This put in context that both strategies are effective. The follow-up of these strategies are quite short right now, and we have only data from one trial conducted with CAR T in myeloma, showing results about the duration of the response. But it's not very long, and the median progression for survival is of approximately 10 months. In summary, both strategies are clearly effective. How to proceed in the clinical practice tomorrow or the day after tomorrow when both strategies are available? CAR T cells require the manufacturing processes and approximately patients have to wait one and a half or up to two months between you do the selection of the patient for CAR-T and the CAR-T is finally delivered. This is not going to occur with the T-cell engagers by specific monoclonal antibodies because they are off-the-shelf products. This put in context that if we have in front of us patients that required immediate therapy, because of their aggressiveness, we have to select maybe T cell engager or by specific monoclonal antibodies because it is not possible to wait to the production of the CAR T. I consider that this could be probably resolved in the future because allogenic CAR T cells, off the shelf CAR T cells, are also under development. There are there are other situations that can potentially influence the choice between CAR T's versus by specific monoclonal antibodies, frailty and comorbidities of the patient. Myeloma usually affected to the elderly population, and CAR T cells delivery required lymphodepletion and required the patient to be fit with good organ function, with a normal function of the heart, the liver, renal, and so on. T cell engagers by specific, although they also require that the patient is good performance status, and I think that the requirements are not so strict. And maybe for elderly patients with some comorbidities, by specifics or T cell engager monoclonal antibodies will be the, the, the best choice. In summary, I would say that both strategies are effective in relapse and refractory myeloma patients. Both strategies are rapidly moving to earlier lines of therapy, and maybe in the near future we will have both, even in the Afron setting. 
our objective would be to cure patients with multiple myeloma. And I think that uh, patient and disease-based factors will definitely influence how to, proceed, how to proceed in order to make the right choice selecting CAR T cells or bispecific monoclonal antibodies, or who knows, maybe both can be complementary and T-cell engagers can follow CAR-Ts in order to maintain the response.